So we're looking at the drill that they'll be using to test the bits that they're going to be taking to the glaciers to go get some wonderfully telling ice cores. So we're looking at a bandsaw here it's that they actually saw. take out in the field and slice the ice cores in half so they can take a look at them. They put the core on the red channel there and slide it on down and slice it in half. So we're looking at some thermal drills here. You can see they're big, long silver tubes. And basically they heat the ends up and they go melting through the ice core. So we're standing in the drill room of Bird Polar. You can see some of the large drills right here. These are some of the coring heads. You can see lots of stuff. Lots of cool stuff that's very, very important for the research. Make sure that they uh, they stay well equipped. These are actually rollable solar panels so they can have power while they're out on the glaciers. Very important. So what we're looking at here is actually one of the boxes that they pack ice cores in. Uh, if you look inside you'll see that silver tube. Um, that's where they put the ice cores. Uh, those blue packs are actually uh, kind of similar to the cold packs that you put inside a cooler except they hold the temperature that they're frozen at. So they actually go to 30 below zero and then they pack these things and send them back to the United States to get put in the cold room which is actually right over here. Those doors lead to the cold room which is over 30 below zero and they do that to prevent the gas from escaping. Interesting thing about 30 below zero is that's the same temperature that dipping dots are stored at. So that's kind of cool. So this is Victor with the big block of ice they're going to drill through. You can see that would uh, fill a whole lot of coolers. And he's taking it over to the drill. Right there you can see that in the background. Right there. We're going to cut a big hole in that big thing. See the ice is very, very heavy. So that's the big block of ice that they're lowering down there. Uh, behind them is that large freezer room where they store all the ice cores. And they're going to take that thing, wheel it over here, and go ahead and core it with this large drill right here. And there's our big block of ice right there. And there's another angle at our big block of ice. Right there. So there they go. You can see the bit spinning. Right there. And it's starting. What they're doing is they're basically hollowing out and literally coring the ice. So when they're done, you're literally going to get a tube of ice that you can pull out and examine. Alright, so we're going to keep on coring.
right there. Now we're back to where they pulled it out. And you can really see it starting to chew into the ice. All right. So the ice has a crack in it now as it goes down. You can see it's advanced a lot further now. It's actually chewing along pretty quickly. So there's the full core right there about as far as they've gone down you can see they've gone down probably about three feet and they're going to pull that out and we're going to have an ice core that ice core will be at Cosize Polar Adventure February 27th through March 1st come see it so they're pulling out the drill bit right now the core is inside They can actually go over 500 meters into a glacier with these, with this drill bit, and the, which is, and if they add more, they can go up to 1,500 meters, which is almost a mile. So they can go really, really, really far down into the glaciers. They told me that the record was around three miles as for the farthest core that's ever been drilled. They're pulling out the ice core. There it is. Okay. There's that core. Cute <laughs> right there. So then they would take that back to Ohio State. Well, and they would analyze that. Later you will pick it up. Okay. There you go. You can see it's a big, big chunk of ice very important for the research of climate change.